Good morning, it's Anjali from the Dusty Hive where the Hamiltons help you tell the story of your home and we just wanna say happy Friday. And um, I shared last week on Friday that we were gonna make um, Fridays here, Family Friday. Since our, um, since the Dusty Hive is all about home and family, we thought we'd do a little spotlight on our family and maybe um, talk about some family topics on Fridays. Well, um, last week, Y'all got to meet our Lily, the youngest of the Hamiltons, and today, y'all are going to get the special treat of meeting the other Hamilton girl who lives here. Her name is Lucy B, and yes, B is her middle name, and not B-E-A, but B-E-E, -E. and so, um, so anyhow, when I call her Lucy B, it's not just a little loving term of endearment, that is her actual name. And so um, today she's going to join us. We're going to learn a little bit about her and she has something special that she's going to share with y'all. She is going to share, hey, daddy's watching. Do you want to say, you are going to say something? She's going to share one of, she's going to share one of her grandmother's recipes with y'all today. And so today, if you join us, I want you to tell us if you have a, a quick and easy family recipe that um, maybe the kiddos can jump in the kitchen and help you with. Because the last few times we've made this, um, I haven't done it. Lucy's done it all by herself. So she's excited to um, share this recipe with y'all and talk about it today. And so, um, so I'm going to turn the camera around and she's going to share a little bit about what she's doing. All right. Good morning, Lucy. Good morning. Daddy said, love you. Gotta go. Mm -hmm. I love you too, Daddy. <laughs> I love you, Daddy. <laughs> All right, Lucy. So tell us, what are you doing today? We are making summer salad. Summer salad is the name of the recipe. And tell us, where did you, where did we get this recipe from? From Mom and our grandma. And she lives in Arizona. Yes, she lives in Arizona. And we call it summer salad because when do we make it mostly? In, in summer. summer! We make it mainly in the summertime because it's not it's not a hot recipe. What kind of recipe is it? Do we cook it? No, it helps us cool down. It's a cold recipe, yeah. And so... um. So, she's going to teach us how to make this today, and so why don't you tell us what you have in the bowl already. Show us the ingredients. First, we put cottage cheese. Did you use the whole carton? Yes. So, she used the whole carton of? Cottage cheese. That's a 24-ounce carton of cottage cheese. Then, we put jello in it. Jello. The powdered, pow, powdered jello. The powdered jello mix, and um, we use sugar free so that um, it can be um, a recipe with less sugar in it. And so, and then. Then we put pineapple in it. Just any old pineapple? What kind of pineapple is that? Um, crushed. Crushed pineapple, yes. And so, what do you have in the what do you have in the bowl so far? Tell us what you've done so far. We put the cottage cheese, the jello, and the pecans. Okay, she put some pecans too. Now you just put the powder jello and mixed it in with the cottage cheese. You didn't add anything else except for the powder, and then you mixed it up. And then what did you do with it? Put it in the refrigerator. You put it back in the refrigerator for a little while. Now, tell us what you're going to do next. We're going to put the crushed pineapple in. Miss Winnie says, hey. Hi, Miss Winnie. Uh, <laughs> okay, so you're mixing the crushed pineapple into the... Bowl. And to the bowl, the cottage cheese and powdered jello mix and some pecans. But we've used all kinds of nuts. We've used walnuts and we've used um peanuts. No, we haven't used peanuts. Almonds we've used also. So you mix it in really good. You got that in stirred in really, really good all mm -hmm. through the bottom and stuff. And we put orange in um Pineapple go good together, so that's why we picked the orange jello. We like black cherry with it also. 
And now, extra cool whip. Extra creamy cool whip. Extra creamy cool whip. And how much of that are you going to use? The whole entire bowl. <laughs> You're going to use the whole carton of that also. Oh my gosh. I don't know what to say. So, Lucy, while you're doing that, do you want to tell everybody what your favorite color is? The whole entire rainbow. The whole entire rainbow. Yes. And what's your favorite food? Summer salad and macaroni salad. And those two recipes came from where? Mammy. Mammy. They both came from your grandmother. Now, some of my friends here in South Louisiana, they just like, really, I would never thought to mix these things. But you have to understand that Lucy's grandparents are from the Midwest. And so they say this is a Midwestern thing. And um, they now live in Arizona. So that's Chad's background also. He was born in Indiana and raised in Arizona. So this is a Midwestern thing, but these Southern girls kind of like it too. And we like it because it's like a sort of like a healthy alternative to a dessert. They get kind of like a little sweet treat, but um, you know, it has a good source of protein. And if you're dairy free, of course, this isn't for you, but um, it's a Hamilton family recipe. So maybe, she's folding it in. Maybe Lucy could be in a bakery. In a bakery? <laughs> Okay, so Luce, um, why don't you tell us, so this is about getting to know you and some of the things that you like to do. So tell us your top three things. What do you like to do? I like cooking. She is the little sous chef here at the Hamiltons. I like watching TV. What's your favorite TV show right now? Descendants. The Descendants on Disney. What else do you like to watch? You're doing it right now. What kind of shows? Cooking shows. <laughs> yeah. Cooking shows. I think she's, um, this little acorn hasn't fallen far from the oak tree because she likes to watch um, home improvement, home decor, home interior shows, and cooking shows. And so, let's see. You said you like cooking and camping. You like watch TV. You like camping. It's time for us to take the little cabin out, huh? Yeah. It's time. And so what are you going to do with it now? Now that's all mixed up. Put it, put it, put saran wrap over it. You're going to put some plastic wrap over it and do what? Put it in the refrigerator. Put it in the refrigerator and let it chill for... A couple of hours is best because it gives all that jello flavoring and all time to set in. Um, Are you done making it? We'll cover it up in just a second. So before we go, tell everybody, before you lick your finger, because I know you <laughs> want to lick your finger very badly, tell everybody, what do you want to be when you grow up? A chiropractor. A chiropractor. I thought what? you were going to be a cook. A she can be a cooking chiropractor. Look at the sister love this morning. <laughs> okay, so is there anything else you want to share with everybody before I turn the camera around? So how's it taste? Um, that bowl will be going by tomorrow morning, I'm pretty yeah. sure. <laughs> okay, so that, that was Lucy. And that she was just um, sharing a family recipe with y'all. And, you know, I just really feel like, you know, especially in the South, and I know most families too, that cooking is a part of your story. It's a part of your family culture. And so um, let us know some yummy, easy recipes that you can get your kids in the kitchen with too. So like this one right here required absolutely no cooking. And um, and so she she just, you know, she is cooking according to her standards and all. But um it's it's fun watching her grow in that and so um so anyhow i want to thank y'all for joining us today and um want you to say have a happy weekend and i want to say that next week we're going to follow um 
our same little theme for each day. And I have a special guest joining us on Monday that I'm really excited about because you will glean so much. But I'm not going to tell you who it is today. I will announce it later on this weekend. And so it might be in a post or it might be um, on the Saturday morning post that Chad and I try to do tomorrow morning. So um, thank y'all for joining us. And we just want to um, just tell y'all bye and say have um, a wonderful Friday. Enjoy the evening. And I'm going to get my little friends here to help me out. Y'all come back and help me. So let's tell everybody bye. Okay. Say goodbye from the dusty yeah. hive where, where the, the Hamiltons help you tell, tell the, the story, story of your home. home. Happy Friday. Bye-bye. I love you.